All right, guys, today we're going to look at the differences between debt and equity financing. So debt financing is basically when you are borrowing money uh, and you will need to repay it at some stage. Uh, it could be short term uh, over a few months or a couple of years, or it could be long term over 30, 40 years. Um, it's very attractive to business because the funds are readily available. Once it's been approved, you get the cash almost instantly, and any interest payment on that debt is fully tax deductible. And so basically, once you have that full amount, um, you can put it to work for you, buying whatever it is you need to buy to, to get on with your business. Um, a disadvantage of it is that you have to repay it over time, plus whatever the interest and any other charges that are associated with it. Um, also, finance companies will require some form of security from the business. So you have to put up some sort of property against it, that if you're unable to make your payments, then the property is then owned by the finance company. Um, you need to make regular payments, although these can be uh, you know, pre-planned, so you know, you know what day they're due. You need to have the cash flow available to do it. Um, also, the lenders are basically guaranteed, so they have the first claim on any any assets that uh, the business has if you become insolvent. Equity financing is basically when you are taking it, either putting in more money yourself into the business mm -hmm. or taking on other shareholders. Um, they take on a share of the risk, but they're also entitled to a share of the profits. So it's safer than debt, but it requires you to be profitable to make it attractive. And again, unlike debt financing, it doesn't have to be repaid. Uh, it's cheaper because there's no interest payments, uh, but you are starting to lose control of the company. And the shareholders have an expectation there will be a return on their investment. Either the price of the shares is going to go up or they're going to get good dividends from profits. There is, however, less risk for the business in taking on equity financing. So here's a good example of comparison between uh, debt and equity financing. So, as I say, debt lenders have prior claim on any event of liquidation. So, um, you may not walk away with any equity, for, you know, owner's equity at the end of it because your uh, lenders get first first dibs on it. Um, however, under equity financing, shareholders have an equal claim on all the assets. Um, debt must be repaid by periodic repayments and fully repaid by a specific date. Uh, equity has no maturity date. You can buy out other people at any stage you want, or you can raise more equity if you want. Um, the advantage of debt is, the, as I say, the interest payments are tax deductible. Uh, dividends, however, for equity are not tax deductible. They're considered earnings and profit and are taxed at the full marginal rates. Um, because of the lower risk from debt financing, lenders will give you a lower interest rate. However, shareholders would expect a higher return. If they're not going to get more money out of putting their money into the business, um, they would just take it out and put it into a bank, the bank interest rates. So you need to actually be paying a higher rate of return for equity financing. Um, your interest payments on debt is fixed, although dividend payments are not fixed, but businesses um, or, or shareholders and businesses typically expect a certain amount of dividend. Um, Telstra's had a huge battle over the last couple of years trying to reduce their dividend payments, for example, um, after basically people have been buying the shares in expectation of getting that dividend. Um, debt providers have no control over the company, so no voting rights, whereas equity holders have um, vote. So typically in the large, large company, you get one vote per share. Uh, so if you've got 100 shares, you get 100 votes. Now that's obviously going to be outweighed by an institution who has several million shares. Um, your voice 